Hello everyone, welcome back to another Brick Store Quick Tip. Today we're gonna to talk about some efficiencies that you can add into your workflow when it comes to adding pieces. Um, because you know the, the quicker you can add a piece, the theoretically the more money you can make uh, because your inventory can grow and stuff. So this is almost entirely gonna take place in this add items menu. So if you wanna open this up, if you're following along, you can. Um, the first thing is I'll kind of just go over this layout. The item type in the top left is for the part, set, minifig. If you're looking for a minifig in here, under the part menu, it'll only show pieces for the minifig. It won't show the complete minifig, so you might have to change it. Um, we have our categories within the item type up here. We have then our actual view, of course, where we can actually see the pieces and stuff. There are three views, so in the top right here, you can uh, actually look at in a list view, which in my opinion is awful because you can't see the piece until you hover over it and wait and then it'll pop up a picture. Um, you can see this view here, which is my favorite, um, where we have a description and the part ID and then also an image. And then there's also kind of a grid view where we can see uh, just a ton of images and then you have to hold over it before it gives you the part ID and the actual um, name of the piece. Um, we can also increase and decrease the size and stuff by clicking uh, these buttons here or you can select or, uh, or type in a certain certain things so you can theoretically have a ton if you really wanted to but this is my favorite which is kind of this uh, this view here and I like it somewhere around there um, and then we have our search bar at the top of course and then we have color selections and a lot of other options which we'll get into in just a moment but let's say for example we wanted to add a piece here this search field is actually incredibly powerful this search is uh, is uh, is space string dependent which essentially means you do not need to type in the exact word. And then a nice thing as well is if you hover like you see now, it gives you a few things, a few ways you can actually do some of this. So I'm gonna talk about some of these things right here um, in just a moment, which uh, can help us with better search. So first, if we wanna type in something, let's say for example, we have a little piece in front of us. It looks kind of like a rock. Um, so that might be a search term we can use. It doesn't have any printing. It doesn't have any stickers or anything. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna actually take away some search terms. So right now we're in all items because we don't know what category this piece would be in. Tons and tons of items in here, and we need to narrow this down so we can find the piece that we want. The first thing we know there's no printing, so we're gonna do minus pat, which will start to get rid of some stuff. No patterns, um, no printing, hopefully on it. And we don't need to type in pattern all the way. We could just do minus pat, and it'll subtract that phrase. And now when we click the space. This is what I was talking about being space string dependent. Clicking the space means we've now started essentially a second term or a second search. So no pattern and we also want to exclude stickers. So we're gonna say no stick. Um, now, a nice thing here is since those are two separate phrases, we see this uh, air blast launcher here. If we search air launcher, um, so air blast launcher, we're just gonna search air launcher, air space launcher, it's still going to come up because we don't need the exact phrase. So for example, on BrickLink, if you search air launcher, I doubt this will come up. You probably need air blast launcher. Um, different things might come up, but I don't think it would be that because BrickLink is a little more specific in terms of having the right phrase. But we're looking for this rock piece that I have in front of me, or it looks like a rock piece. At least we're gonna do minus pat since there's no pattern and minus stick since there's no stickers on it. And then I'm just gonna search in the term rock. And now we've really limited down what we have here, but we still have quite a few. You can see your search scroll thing there is pretty large still. So still a lot of things here. So this is where the next thing comes in, which is really, really nice. It's called color lock. I have this piece in front of me and it's clearly dark bluish gray. So we're over here. We're currently on the all colors tab. You can also go to known colors, which means whatever you're selected on, it'll only show you the colors for that specific piece. But since we're searching for something that we don't know, we're gonna click in anywhere in here and if we wanted to not have to scroll through here, we can actually st start to type in whatever word we want. So I typed in dark, and you can easily scroll down to dark bluish gray. And now we have that selected. And then in the very top right, there's this little lock. If you click that, it will now lock and only show you the pieces that come in that color. And you can see we have a lot less results now, a lot less to scroll through and have to find. So now dark bluish gray is locked, no pattern, no sticker, and rock, meaning we think that's the search term or a good term for this piece. And now let's say we come through and we found this piece, the rock panel. And for some reason we didn't know what that was called. It also, we maybe we couldn't read the, the ID on the bottom of it. But now we've selected a dark bluish gray rock panel two by four by six. So now another nice thing, without having to move your mouse, we can actually add the quantity here. And that's because if you look very closely underneath that cue, there's a little underline. 
Also, underneath the price, the P, there's a little underline. Same with tiered pricing. Same with condition new, condition used, bulk, cost, etc. So what we can actually do within here is if you're on Windows, you can hold down Alt, or if you're on a Mac, you can hold down Option. And when you hold that, and then you click the letter that is underlined, it'll automatically jump to that field. So now we can say, okay, we have 25 of these. And then we do have a bulk price we want to do. We want to do five. So I'm holding down Option, but if you're on Windows, you'd hold down Alt and click B, and it jumps into that field. And then these are in used condition. These are not new. So we don't need to go click the little bubble. We can do Option or Alt U. It'll automatically select used. And maybe we're adding remarks right now. We want D1, 2, 3, 1. And then by clicking enter, you can add it to your inventory. So now we've added that rock piece and you can see it's actually here within our file. It's not in our inventory yet, but it's in our file. And all those attributes that we, we talked about are in there. And that was all without having to click into each of those fields, which is a huge slowdown. If you click into the quantity, uh, if you click into bulk, if you have to click into price, etc. Very inconvenient by holding down Alt or Option with that first letter, or in the comments it's an M. But any of those letters, it can then automatically jump to that field, which is really, really incredible. Very, very nice. Um, other than that, you know, there are a few other things in here. There's some sets in here. Um, it tells you what sets they come in. There's obviously price guide information. Generally, most people, I think, add it at zero price, and then they actually edit it in their file. But navigating this menu can be daunting because there are so many things, especially when you don't have a concept of what the piece ID is. But using little things like pattern, stickers, you know, removing that, or let's say you know this is a one by one. Now with that one by one, so many things are going to show up, but you, your confidence one by one, if you put the one by one in parentheses, it'll only now show things that have one space x space one within the results you can see this technically is a one by 12 but there's a one space x space one and then there's a two so anything now that is exactly has that phrase in there you can do that so that's very powerful when you know it's for sure a one by one piece um, but obviously you know if you know the item id or uh, or if you just know a better search term for each piece that would be the fastest way to do it. But if you play around in here, there's a lot of little things you can do to increase your efficiency. Um, but specifically that alt or option with this, this thing here, as well as color lock, that is the biggest help. And it really is incredible when it comes to cataloging pieces a lot more quickly than by clicking in this menu or having to scroll or typing into each field. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for watching another Brickstore quick tip. Uh, tune in next time for another quick tip. This one was a little bit longer than quick, but uh, hopefully it was helpful within the add items menu.